wait, do I have a new powder? I don't know what it is about, maybe it's the jewelry I picked today. I kind of look like a like a politician's daughter. Politician's daughter meets legally blonde. Very Reese Witherspoon kind of vibe going on. Is it the necklace? No, it just looks like I'm getting ready for like a press conference. Hang on. This is a great necklace though. Let me tell you what, it is a good one, but it isn't good for this situation. Is it the hair? Is the hair in the necklace? I don't know what it is. Something about it is just throwing me off. This feels better, yeah. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. <laughs> but I mean, you saw the title. We're on a mission today. Did not come to play. I asked you in the community tab, like what kind of video you wanted to do in like preparation for the sale and you all delivered. There were specific products you wanted more information on. There was like, I wanna know the best of the skincare. I wanna know best of makeup. I wanna know what your like repurchases are. And you know what? That's what we're gonna do today. We are going to like amalgamate all of that into one video. So we have all of the products that's like the best of the best stuff. I keep pulling at my hair and like hitting myself, I'm too excited. Also, I have the most hilarious brand tea. I don't know <laughs> why I find this so funny. So I got word through the world of TikTok that um, obviously we all know Sephora is having a sale. It's starting tomorrow. And depending on what tier you are in the Sephora system, you get 10, 15 or 20% off. And what I have learned is that <laughs> there are a couple of brands out there that in advance of the sale are doing a sale on their products on their website for 25% off. It's so shady, but I love it <laughs> because obviously when you sell through Sephora, they're gonna take a cut of whatever you sell. And then you're also putting your stuff on discount for that period of time. You want people to buy from your site so you can get more money. Like I get it. <laughs> it's just really amusing to me because they obviously, I'm sure there are all sorts of like things that you, you can't have a sale at the same time and all that kind of stuff. But like the fact that they're doing 25% off like the week before the sale, it's magic. It was a thing that I didn't think was a thing, but now that you know, and I know, you can also look that up. Maybe that's a better sale. You might have to deal with shipping and stuff, but like worth exploring. But now we need to get into the good stuff. Are there products here I've talked about before? Yes, there are. Do I feel so passionately about how amazing they are that I'm including them here? Yes, I am. Did I buy a couple of products just to give you guys the inside scoop on what they're about? Also, yes. I have to go back and get things because this, the thing about things that you keep using and repurchasing, I was using them in the bathroom. I have to bring them back. I was so organized, I swear. I went for one product and I came back with five. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So let's start with hair, because that's usually where I start and then we'll do, we'll go through each of the categories. And if you're new here, by the way, if you are welcome, welcome, introduce yourself down below. And for all of you that are not new, say hi to the people who are listening in the background <laughs> while you're watching this video. I see all your comments. My mom's in the background, she recognizes your voice. My boyfriend recognizes you and says you're the Canadian lady. <laughs> but anyway, this is, if you are new, I have been struggling a lot with my hair. I had a lot of fallout for my hair. I got COVID in 2021, I wanna say, and I had a ton of hair fall and I couldn't figure out what was wrong and blood work, blood, all the whole thing. And I still am struggling with the aftermath of that in that the front pieces of my hair just keep snapping off and I have been struggling a, a lot. So I have some products and I don't have a lot of products because I don't wanna, I don't like introducing a lot of new things to my hair. And so I am very specific when I do so. So when I say that I love these products and they work well for me, I mean it with all of my heart. They, these are fantastic products. Number one, the Bondi Boost HG Shampoo. This is like a uh, a shampoo that's really good if you have, if you're looking for hair density. It has peppermint, rosemary, saw, pal palmetto. I was gonna say palomino. I've been too submersed in my horseback riding. It smells fantastic. The lather is really great. It does get all of the gunk out of your scalp, kind of cleanses everything, but in a really gentle way. I really like that one on like a, on a regular basis. So I'll flip that back and forth with the Briogeo, Destined for Density. This is the caffeine biotin. This is the conditioner, which I also really love. I have the shampoo. It's still in the bathroom. I'm not gonna grab all of them. I've talked about these ones before. This is my, I think third bottle of both of these things. Um, and I, I just, I really love the formula. It's not too heavy. It's going to cleanse my my hair. My, my hair doesn't feel so dry that it's like snapping off, but it still feels clean, you know? The scent is really great. It's just fantastic. And then once a week, I will either use a scalp scrub. This one is in Sephora, so I'm not including it here, but let me know if you want to know. And the Bumble and Bumble. This is the BB Sunday shampoo, which is a detoxifying shampoo. It's like clarifying, so it's going to really get rid of everything that's, you know, stuck to the scalp, any product that build up, any dry shampoo, 
I was gonna say sunscreen, that's not what I meant. Hairspray, that's the one. It's gonna get all that stuff out and it's gonna leave your hair feeling really, really clean. Especially if you're like me, again, I have very oily, oily roots. I don't know if I said that. Next day, I already looked like a drowning rat. So this stuff is potent. It does a fantastic job of getting rid of everything for me. It's not something I use every single day though. And I use every single one of these products. I do have a lot of drugstore ones that are also really fantastic. Thumbs up this video if you enjoy like the, the favorites kind of stuff and maybe we'll do like a drugstore one. And then the other thing for my hair, where are you? Oh, there you are. I bought the mini version of the Pureology Color Fanatic, the 21 Essential Benefits. Like it's like a leave-in thing for your hair. And so I put this on my hair out of the shower on the ends because I find that my hair gets really tangled in the shower. And then if I'm trying to like brush it gently enough that I can blow dry it properly, it's just a mess, it's nasty. And what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of this, I'll spritz it into my hand and then I'll put it in my hair because I don't like a ton of product in my hair. And that's just enough, it softens everything up. It makes it easier to break through a lot of the knots that happen in my hair in the shower. Everything feels really nice, it feels shiny, it feels healthy, it doesn't feel weighed down. And again, I have gone through a couple of different like leave-in treatments, detanglers, things like that, and they're either too heavy or my hair breaks off from them. Like I am so <laughs> scared to apply anything to my hair, but this one has been awesome. So when I run out of this, and it won't <laughs> won't be for a while, because again, I use so little of it, but I will be repurchasing this. I think this is this is a really good one. I can see why it's so popular. It's phenomenal. And then lastly is um, dry shampoo. I haven't talked about this one in a minute, and I feel like we need to like revive it. We need to talk about this because no one talks about how awesome this is. It's by Briogeo. It's their Scalp Revival Charcoal and Biotin dry shampoo. This is the only dry shampoo that I use and I will stand by that. It is that good. And the reason that I love it, and trust and believe, I use dry shampoo. Love this thing. I find a lot of them to be drying or not enough or they have like this sticky tacky feeling in the scalp and it, like I just, I can't because I'll just put my hair up anyway. And I'm like, what was the point of that? This stuff, I don't know what is in it, but my hair just feels like Freshly washed, dry and beautiful. It has a nozzle here, so you use this and then you like squeeze it to like poof it out. I don't do that. Should I do that? Yeah, probably. It would be less messy that way. But what I do, just in case anyone was wondering, I take it like this and then I pour some into my hand, a little bit at a time, and I'll rub it in and I will tip my head over and then they will massage it into my scalp. I just, I don't know why. I like that method a lot better. Maybe I'm just not patient enough. Now, if you have oily hair like me, the magic comes from applying this the day after you wash your hair. Not when it starts to get really greasy, it's too late that you're far gone. This needs to be applied if you wash your hair in the morning, this needs to be applied before bed or first thing in the morning, depending how oily you get and how quickly. That is the magic on how this keeps everything super, super dry and floofy and amazing. And it's awesome. It is so good. I'm gonna say that about every single product here because they're all my favorites. Okay, now I wanna go on to um, skincare. And I wanted to be cutthroat about skincare stuff. And that's why I kept having to go back to the bathroom to grab stuff because I was literally using all of it. Let's start with at night. So I love a good retinol. I love a good retinol. I've been using retinol for the last 10 years probably. And I've just never looked back. They're just really great. So I use a retinol on my skin. I love the SkinCeuticals one. It's not Sephora, unfortunately, but that's the one I use. But for my under eye, I really love, this is the Peace Out Retinol Eye Stick. And um, Peace Out is a brand I think it's Sephora, I should check that. Sometimes, like I've brought products over here and then I check, I'm like, do, 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 just make sure it's on there. Nope. <laughs> Sephora's like Netflix. You know when you get really attached to a show and you're like really excited about it and then they're like, whoop, you don't need that show anymore. Two seasons is enough. Oh good, it is. Okay, it's still there. Whew, had to check just in case. Oh, it actually reminded me. The other thing, this is one thing that I need to get more of because these are great. The, um, the piece out, they have like an acne healing dots. They have the little dots that you can put on. Those work so well. Anytime I get any sort of hormonal acne, especially like around my mouth and stuff, like it's gone, gone. Like I'm down to, <laughs> I've been I've been waiting for the sale. We've all been waiting for the sale so that I can buy more of them because I've been cutting them up into little bits, <laughs> like just putting them all over my face, trying to save them. Those are also very good. I really like them. Okay, now I wanna talk about lip balm because I deal with a lot of like chapped lips and it's, gross and I hate it. And so I've been cycling through a lot of different lip balms, looking for one that I really liked that had good ingredients in it. Cause again, you're just, you're putting it in your mouth. You're, you're basically eating it. And the one I have bought multiples of and put all over my house 
and I'm buying more. But this is another one. It is by Pharmacy. It is their Honey Butter Beeswax Lip Balm. This stuff has saved my lips. I can't explain it. I, I don't know what it is that's in this that makes it so magical, but I love it. So I have one upstairs. I have one downstairs, which is running out, hence why it's on my list. And I have one in my purse. So um, maybe I have a problem. I don't. I don't think it's a problem though. Nobody wants chapped lips. This is priority, people. I cannot get enough of this. It's not scented, I don't think. There's no, yeah, it's kind of beeswaxy a little bit, but just a really natural, easy balm. And it's just like, it's not goopy. It's not drying. It smooths over everything really nicely. It feels like it's healing my lips. It's oh, so fantastic product. Oh my gosh, Rachel, you need to, you need to pick up the price. Okay, this one is relatively new, meaning like as of 2024, I have become obsessed with this. It is by Kate Somerville, which I think is fairly new to Sephora, like within the last year, I wanna say. And it's her Supercell Rejuvenation Serum. And it's this guy right here. It has like a little rolly thing, like the Refi one, I, but that's a primer, I think. And you roll it on your face, and you smooth it out and my skin is just, it's its so glowy, it's so glowy. And so I just keep reaching for it and I look at all the other products, like I have tons of serums and I love all of them. But this one has, I just, I can't stop reaching for it because again, my skin looks like all like glassy and beautiful and the roller's fun and I just, it's a really good serum. Plays nice with other moisturizers. I haven't had an issue with it with makeup or anything. It's not like peeling or pilling or it's not particular. You know, sometimes there's like serums and things like that and they just don't play well with anyone and you're just like, why? Why are you here? This one is just, it's easy breezy and fits in with everything magically and I can layer it really nicely and it's just, I don't know, it feels really good on my skin. Okay, now I wanna add one that I hadn't initially thought of because again, it's downstairs. So I, I hadn't kind of come to the forefront of my brain, but in the comments, you guys were asking um, for SPFs, like moisturizers with SPFs or like just face SPF. Such a good question. So the one that I use the most often and have repurchased the most is the Shiseido one. This is the Urban Environment Sun Dual Care SPF 42. This one right here, this is the one, it looks like this. I know that Shiseido has like a couple of ones that look similar to this, but it's this one. It has a little shaker ball in it. And this one, it has a bit of a tint in it, which is what I love is just kind of smooths over my skin. It makes everything look very even, but in a very natural way. It's not like, I don't know, rubbing off tons of foundation all over yourself, you know? It stays on, it looks great, it feels good on my skin. Again, it sits nicely on top of any moisturizers and stuff that I have on my skin already. I really love this one. It's been uh, an awesome, I've, there's a couple of them that I just, I don't know, they get, they get very grainy, which is just weird or they pill or they need certain moisturizers under the, I don't know. It's just, this one has always been a safe one for me that I know is gonna work, that I know is gonna look beautiful on my skin. There's another one also by Clarins that I also really love that I just thought of. So I will link that one as well. Uh, I don't know if it's on Sephora, but um, I will link it anyway. I can write that on my list. Clarins. <laughs> Sunscreen, need more of it. That's a good one. Ugh, love Clarins. I have another one, another thing by Clarins and we'll talk about it in a minute. Okay, two more skincare things I need to talk about. It's a must, they are a must. I need to talk about them. So one is a lash serum and I have been truthfully very scared of lash serums. I have heard so many horrible, scary stories about how people have developed all these like sunken under eyes and it has to do with this very specific type of chemical that is utilized in a lot of these lash growth serums and all that kind of stuff. And so I have just avoided them entirely as a category. And then as of, I think the last year, I picked up one of them from Sephora that did not have that specific ingredient in it or any versions of it. I was very consistent with it and I kept going and kept going and I was like, just, you know, you gotta, you gotta test stuff out sometimes and just see what is gonna hit or not. I'm not noticing anything. I'm like, yeah, it's fine, whatever. And then it just hit me one day and I remember looking up and being like, why are my lashes astronomical? Where did these come from? I don't understand. And then I just stopped using it because I'm like, wow, that works. You know when sometimes that just happens and you just fall off the bandwagon and you're like, oh, I guess I should do this again because Dibs is getting married um, this year, so I want big, bold, beautiful lashes. So it's the Shiseido Full Lash Serum. It's great. It takes a while. It's gonna, you gotta be so consistent with it, but it doesn't irritate my eyes at all. It doesn't leave a red line or anything on my, on my eyeballs. I haven't had any negative 
experience from it and it's been awesome. It is on the pricier side, which is why I wanted to talk about it today because 20% off. Although maybe check Shiseido's website, maybe it's 25% off there, but this has worked really well. If you have also been really scared of any sort of lash serums, I hear you, I feel you. This has been awesome and has actually worked. And then last one, last one. This is a moisturizer. This is my go-to moisturizer. This is the moisturizer that I have gone through three bottles of it. It is expensive and I just can't stop using it. I tell everyone about it. Everyone who ever asks like, what's in your skincare routine? I will tell them about this product. You know when you have a product and you're like, I don't want to change anything or you change something and then you have to go back to this because you're like, I know that I'm going to look good with this product. That's what this moisturizer is for me. And it is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream. I remember testing it. I don't know if you remember it, but we were sitting down and I was like, this is like a really overly sponsored product. Like I can't be that good. I was wrong. I had no idea. It is such a good product moisturizer wow they have a thicker version as well um if you have drier skin this one is just it's so like lightweight can you see the texture of this it is hydrating again plays well with other serums it makes my skin that beautiful dewy glowiness that lasts it's not like you put it on your skin and you're like that was great and then you know 10 minutes later when it dries it's gone no that actually stays and looks really glowy for the rest of the day but if you can get your hands on, i think they even make like little miniature or travel size versions try it you might be addicted though you might need to buy it again because it is um it's that good oh my gosh this is gonna be the longest video of life okay makeup let's fire through these people starting with the product that i think is on the newer side and i bought it because i've been obsessed with another really you know those thick like really good brow gels my brows are out of control they have a mind of their own if i don't like glue them down they will just be like they don't care at all what they look like so um, I have to, again, cement them down. And I've tried my fair share of gels for your eyebrows, and I'm sure they work well for the regular human, but my brows say no. <laughs> Good try though. This one is the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Gel. I think she had it in like a pot formulation for a while. This one is now in like a, you know, brush on kind of applicator. It is really good. It's gonna glue everything down. You do have a little bit of time too to like, you know, manipulate the brows a little bit to where you want them to sit before it dries, which is important. Having that little bit of time for someone who is very particular and very slow with my brows, that is important to have. So that does a really good job. And then on to concealer. This concealer I have had for a long time and I have loved this concealer, but I have grown to love this concealer more the older I get. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Self Setting concealer so it dries down and you don't need to set it with a powder and so i use this on the outside so you can see this is clearly not my shade this is shade 11 but i use this as more of like a highlighting one so i'll use it on the outer part of my eye here sometimes i'll use it in other parts of my face to kind of like highlight and brighten whatever but this stuff is awesome. I don't get it to like sink into any smile lines or anything like that. It covers really beautifully. It melts down unbelievably. The, the, the formula is so good. It's not too creamy. It's not too drying. It just works. And I, again, I don't know why more people don't talk about it because it's, it's unbelievable. The other one I use is also very good. I just feel like I always talk about it, but I, I mean, I guess I should include it anyway. If I can find it, oh, it's, just, it's right in front of me. It's the um, Giorgio Armani. This is the Luminous Silk Concealer. I've talked about this at nauseum by this point. It is my go-to, go-to concealer. When this runs out, I will buy another one. That is, that is how this transaction will occur. When you make my under eyes look this good, I like I can't go back to something else now. And listen, I've tried other ones that are nice. They're nice, but this one is important and better. Now, I mean, we talked about concealer. Let's go on to foundation. This is another one of those ones where I was like, this can't be that good. And then it ends up being unbelievable. I'm like, well, I guess I need to buy more of it. And it's the Fenty. What is this? The Fenty Easy Drop Blur and Tint Stick. I love this thing so much. It makes my skin look flawless, absolutely flawless, every single time. I don't know how it does it. You can layer it really nicely. It's like a, like a soft kind of powdery finish to it. So I use 
four, two and four. And I will just use like a, oh, this is also Fenty. Well, what do you know? This is the 115 foundation brush and I'll just go boop, 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 boop. And then I'll stamp it onto my skin. Unbelievable. I'm so angry. <laughs> at how good my skin looks with this stuff. Because again, I have to buy two of them to make the color work. The other thing of note, it is not an easy foundation to keep. You do have to keep the little cap. They have like a little, little cap right there. You put that on before you put the lid on so that you do not dry out the product because that would be such a huge waste of money. We can't have that on 2024. But yes, I have talked about this foundation so many times and I will continue to do so because it is fantastic. I love this one. Okay, I need to focus. A couple more products here. I'm gonna try and rapid fire them a little bit more. Starting with the Huda Beauty, this is the Longwear Pencil, um, Creamy Coal in Very Brown. This is the one I use to tight line. Stays very well, super creamy. Love the shade of brown, just like a nice rich brown. Amazing. Powder, talked about this before. Can't get enough of it. It's the, so expensive, but I have yet to had to buy a restock of it. So there's that. It's the Givenchy. Prism Libre Two Satin Blanc 4-in-1 Harmony Loose Powder. I know there's one that has like a bunch of different colors, not that one. This guy right here. Oh, you can't see. It's got like different shades of beige and pinks and stuff. Magic, magic on my skin. There's no dryness, it's not patchy. It just smooths everything out. It fits flawlessly over a bunch of different products that I've used it with and it works every single time, like magic. And I don't know, if you've been here for a while, you know that, um, of probably every makeup product, the one that I am the least likely to stray from is powder. When I find a powder that works, I have tried other ones and they always disappoint me. There has never been one that I'm just like, wow, this is incredible. I've been using, there's like a, an Elizabeth Arden one that I used for years and years because it was amazing. And then I got this one this was a press sample and I've tried, I've tried the colored one is like, eh, I don't know. It just like, it wasn't for me. I've tried um, a bunch of different powdered products that are, again, they're fine. This one though, I tried it and I was like, wait, do I have a new powder? It's just so rare to happen for me. So I have to, I have to share, share with you how incredible it is. Then blush, I've talked about this one before, but it's the Nude Stick Nudies All Over Face Color in the shade In The Nude. Again, I try a whole bunch of products, but this one, I'm like, this This is how much I have left of it. It's a blush too. It's not like I'm using this like a foundation, you know? This speaks volumes as to how much I love it. The shade for reference is like this incredible buttery kind of peachy tone that just, it is, perfection. The um, formula is incredible, it glides onto the skin so smoothly, there's no patchiness, you can build it very easily, and it's just such a perfect creamy color that just, again, suits so beautifully. I, I love that one. I've actually tried a couple of other ones from them as well, and they've all been really nice. So again, the formula, fantastic. And then a lip oil. Remember I said I was gonna talk about Clarins? I'm going to talk about Clarins. The Comfort Lip Oil in 23. This is like this pinky color. It's what I have on my lips right now. And I have tried so many lip oils. Let me tell you, I tried, Huda has a new one. I tried that one. Dior has one. Everyone and their mom has a different lip oil. There's been a bunch of drugstore ones too. I always come back to this one. I don't know what it is about the formula. They have a bunch of different colors too, but the way that this sits on my lips, it's not too gloopy. It gives a really nice color and it almost like leaves a little bit of a tint after. It's buildable without being like, really aggressive and like, ooh, like I can't keep applying it, you know? The applicator is nice, the formula is really nice, and even if my lips are chapped, this sort of smooths over everything. It doesn't highlight the chappedness, if that makes sense. It almost feels like it's soothing and protecting and like helping to heal that as well. Again, I have tried so many of them, so many of them, and they're all fine. I was really excited about the new Huda ones. I thought those would be amazing because I've heard only incredible things and I tried two different ones. <sighs> Just no, no, I didn't, I didn't like them. Wanted to, really wanted to, didn't like them. Clarins though, this stuff is money. And then I want to talk about a couple products that you guys had been like asking me about. I saw a bunch of comments around um, Danessa Myrick's products. So I wanted to share with you the experience I've had with the products I have. So first of all, the Yummy Skin, this is their um, Glow Serum. 
This stuff is really nice. I wouldn't say this is like a must buy, but it's very beautiful. However, if you are going to splurge on something, the serum foundation, this is a really nice one. I honestly, I should have talked about this one. I haven't used this one in a while because I keep using the friggin' Fenty one, but I had been using this very consistently for a long time. The formula is really beautiful. The level of coverage is really beautiful. It sets down very nicely, really nice product. The one that I used today, this is their um, Yummy Skin Balm. So I like this. I think that it's really nice. It is one of those products that has a little bit of a learning curve to it. So you need to scoop some out and you have to like press and roll the product into your skin. You can use it to set your product as well, or you can use it like as a building agent or just use it on its own, but it's not like a like scoop and like wipe it on and like off you go kind of thing. Is it nice? Yes, it is. I think that the foundation is a little bit less like nitpicky, you know? And then the blush is the other one that I've tried. This is uh, Rosen Brunch. I'm wondering between these two, which one? If you're in the market for a good blush, this one is truly beautiful. It's such a perfect shade. You can see the number of times I've like stabbed a brush into it to like put it on my skin, but this has a blurring component to it that I haven't seen in a lot of blushes. It starts out wet and it dries down to like a powder finish and the color is magical. This color is truly gorgeous. Very easy to like build it onto the skin. Again, it leaves an airbrush almost finish to like the cheeks. I've talked about this in a number of like favorites videos too. And then you also had questions for me about, okay, so one was the Drunk Elephant. So they have the Bigoldi and De Bronzy drops kind of a situation. I have De Bronzy drops. I like them. Um, my sister-in-law, Lo, uses them all the time. She loves them. Easy to use. You do get a good level of bronziness to it, depending on how much product you put in your face. So there's that. I do like this, and I like this a lot more than Bugoldi. The brightening drops, I just, I wanted more from it, you know? I had such high hopes for this because I love the DeBronzy and it just didn't live up to that for me. And then I don't know if it was the comments or it might've been Lo, I don't remember. Lo, if you're watching this, I have a product I think you wanted me to test. <laughs> it's basically supposed to be a dupe, I think, of the DeBronzy drops. I don't know what the price discrepancy is here. I don't actually know if it's like a cheaper alternative, but it's the First Aid Beauty Bronze and Glow Drops. It has niacinamide in it. It's like a skincare kind of a product, but it seems to mix the bronzy with Bigoldi into one. So I've been using this for the last two days. I would say it's not as bronzy as the bronzy. So if you find this one to be too bronzy for you, then you might like this one. It's not as glowy as I was kind of hoping, but I'm, I'm still kind of playing around with it a little bit. I've used it, um, I've mixed it in with primers, I've mixed it in with just like my skincare products. I have to figure out the amount that I like for this. I'll show you the consistency, cause like, I mean, we're here anyway. So you gotta shake it first. That's a really important first step. And then this is sort of the, the color that we're working with here. Like it's not perfectly blended, so apologies for that. It has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not as bronzy as the bronzy, but that's what that is in case you are interested. And then, okay, <laughs> two more products. Are you still with me? Leave me a comment down below if you're still here because <laughs> Bravo to you, we have been chatting a lot. The last thing is perfume, and this perfume combination has gotten me the most compliments, and I can't get enough of it. So the first one is the Kaali Love Fest Burning Cherry, number 48. It has burning cherry, obviously. It has like raspberry, praline, some wood cherry, obviously, and it is unbelievable. I have smelled the Tom Ford cherry version, um, and I think it was nice. This one I liked a lot more though. It is like just such a, oh, it has that su sweet like cherry just like right at the end at that kind of, but it's not in a sugary sweet kind of way. It's a little bit fruity, but in a, in a grown up kind of way. And then I put that with, uh, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I saw someone asking about Fleur, the um, perfume that's supposed to smell like memories or whatever. And I, I think I was fine with it. I think it was fine. It wasn't like mind blowing or anything, but um, the Juliet has a gun has, it's basically musk, that's all it is. And so some people will just wear this on its own. I like to layer it and it just adds this just unexpected level to your perfume and you can layer with literally anything. You can see how much of it I've gone through. I just got a tester because it's like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Turns out I love it. And I'm gonna add that to my list. Juliet as a gun. Not a perfume, more things to buy. And so I put this on top 
Ugh, just, mm. If you're gonna get one perfume, make it this one if you already have perfumes that you love because it's just gonna add this unique element to a perfume that you already have. So I really like the, I know it's like very cliche, but the Ariana Grande, the Grande. Ariana Grande perfume, the cloud perfume. I love that one. I just meshes really well with my skin makeup, I guess. Scent makeup, whatever. So I'll use that with this. Smells amazing. The cherry one with this smells amazing. I've tried other Kaoli perfumes. Surprisingly, the Born Dreamer one, who did that one? It's a TikTok, Charlie D'Amelio, that's what it was. Very nice perfume. Mix that with not a perfume. Amazing. This is such a good spring scent for me. Like the cherry, I really like this. I have liked honestly a lot of the Kaoli perfumes. They've very much impressed me with the layeredness to them. There's their beautiful, beautiful perfumes. And not to worry, everything will be linked down below. I will put it all down there for you guys so you can go and check it out. Happy shopping if you're doing any shopping with the Sephora sale. Let me know in the comments what you end up buying and check out these videos on the side. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic, fantastic day and I'll see you guys all in the next one.